Hello, 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 guys. Welcome back to another episode of Be the Beast Revelation. Uh, okay, last ep. Oh, did I just destroy something? No. Okay, so last episode we had we had a plan. We had a plan to make ourselves an energy core from draconic evolution, uh, but we needed some nether stars. So what we did in the in that episode was that we made ourselves a nether a nether farm. I'm uh, sorry, a wither skeleton farm, and we set up a few good things and. So we basically got a way to uh, make unlimited nether stars. Not unlimited, but you know what I mean. But yeah, that being done, we can move on with this episode, which was to get ourselves an energy core. So if you see down here, we already made two energy pylons and we made ourselves some energy core stabilizers. And we're just going to need some glass, which is here. So we get like two pieces and also an energy core which was just this one right this is the only one we were missing so i think that should be okay yeah perfect put you back in and then we've got ourselves energy core right okay cool we just we did wanted to make ourselves a um tier tier four one and for that we needed a lot of like uh a lot of draconium ingots so that's what we did we went to make that and let's see how many of these we can make cool that should be enough uh, how many more do we have more than enough right so we've got you and we need some redstone blocks as well so we just get a stack of you as well so i feel as if that's it for now that's all we're going to need so let's go set this up outside and it's always dark so oh, one second let's get some rest so let's see if we can't get through this wall Right, so I was thinking I want to set my energy core up somewhere. Well, uh, I was going to potentially do it up here, but what I didn't want was for us to make it and for it just to be covered in snow. So that's literally why I've not decided to put it up there. So I, th I felt as if right there would be a good option for it. But I feel as if here is going to also look pretty decent because I'll make like a nice glass dome around it. But yeah. For now guys we're just gonna stick it here so we put our energy core down and let's just remove this block cool okay so if you look into the uh, uh, terminal I mean into the interface of the um, energy core it's saying build guide inactive right so we're gonna activate the build guide and we are also gonna go up tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 so if you have a look at this right the further you get the more the more you see so right now it's telling us that we need to cover this with um what you call it redstone blocks and then the further we get we need to cover it completely with redstone blocks and then the further we get we need to get some draconium blocks there as well so that's what we'll do so what we'll do is okay that's not going to work uh one, two, three. Oh, and then I know it's a bit weird to see, but that's you done. And then one more. So it basically wants us to cover the whole thing, eh? So we'll do the whole thing in redstone. The reason why we went for the uh, tier 4 was because uh, it holds like a couple of billion RF. So <laughs> it's a bit overkill, but I feel as if it was needed in terms of like to keep it future proof and we don't have to mess with it too much. So boom and boom. Right, okay. So that's basically the rest on done. Let's just quickly have a double check. Yep, that's fine. And then now we're going to need ourselves some draconium blocks and that's just literally going to be around the outsides cool and just some on the sides Oh crap. 
it's honestly why I took a, <laughs> took some time trying to make this. I don't want to mess it up. Right, okay. That is now done. You yeah, guys, with that being made, right? So we're just gonna need to put these down. So let's just grab a couple of. Uh, I don't wanna waste my cobblestone. Just do dirt for now, and then we're gonna go out two blocks from the center of each side. Boom, 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 and uh, last one. Okay, so now we're gonna need to put our stabilizers down. Two, three and four okay cool so let's just remove you guys uh put you back on because it's gonna be annoying oh, i hate when it does this let's put you back in the bubbles cool and Last one. I feel as if I need to remove this and get like an easier system because it's causing me a tiny, tiny bit of lag. Okay, so once these are down, they usually have to be within 16 blocks of the actual inner core. But because we can't access the core anymore, we can access this. So tier 4 energy core, stabilizer is valid, core is valid, and then we just need to literally uh, disable the build and then activate you Damn. look at that guys we got ourselves you know what I, I feel as if it's the coolest looking thing in the whole modern minecraft series but yeah that's been made and we have literally got no uh, what's it called we've got no power in that currently so this is going to be able to hold billions it's going to be on 9.8 billion rf which is massive in my opinion and the reason why i made this one of the main reasons why i made this was because you know our nuclear the big reactor that we built like a few episodes ago it's generating power and it's also depleting the uranium but we're not storing the power it's basically got like a drop off and it's um it's losing a little bit of uh, uranium which i didn't want so uh, now we've just literally need to put the pylons down, I think. So energy pylons outside. Let's go quickly set this up. And it should be ready in order to uh, start storing power. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of this. Yep, 100%. That's going somewhere else. Uh, I'm just going to... I I love Steve Katz, I'm not going to lie. It's it's a very good mod, but... Are you, have you run out of diamonds? That's the question. Yep, you have run out of diamonds. That's potentially why you're letting all the trees grow. But yeah, guys, uh, I do like Steve Katz, but for the most part, it's number one is noisy, and number two is constantly killing iframes. Killing, <laughs> so uh, I feel as if I'm going to remove all this setup and then build a simpler one using industrial foregoing or something along them lines, uh, just to make it a little bit more simpler. But yeah, so you guys, the pylons work in a pretty weird way so if you put it underneath the energy core you're gonna have to put the glass on top of it so what i want to do right i want to put the pylons on top of the hopefully this works and then put a glass here that's not gonna work okay right okay i, f I felt as if this was in the wrong placement so what i've done is i've removed them from the sides and put them down here and also Let's just see if that works. So I've set this one up for output and this one up for input, as you can see by the um, indicate by the arrows. And then we'll put you here. You should be sending stuff over into there now, hopefully. Yep, it is filling up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have got it, guys. I can tell by the uh, little particle effect that's going into it. So, okay. So right now, this is being filled up with our nuclear reactor so everything that we have basically generated from the nuclear reactor is going straight into our energy core outside which is cool it's perfect as you can see and then now 
all the energy that this is going to be generating is going to be basically getting stored out there and then yep and then we have to kind of kind of fill this up and then fill this kind of fill this up and um get that sorted as well so for the most part guys that is it that is the energy core which is crazy so we obviously i'm going to do something with making a nice structure around this but for now i think that's enough but yeah i want to kind of look at what, what it's doing and then hopefully just wait it out just to see uh yeah but what we can do for now is we can make ourselves a flux plug for that side so let's just uh let's just wait put ourselves back to base and make ourselves a flux plug uh, one of these and just mm, can we not make any flux blocks cool let's just make one of these for now then put you guys back because we're not going to need you and let's just get outside quickly Yeah, so I'll, I'll kind of change this all around just to make it look a bit more nicer in that in that sense but for now i think this is perfect uh so for this side what we'll do is we put on the flux plug and we'll connect it to our base so is that going up or down that is still going up so if you look at this right it's got 13 million rf in it and it's literally not even struck scratch the, <laughs> scratch the surface so that's pretty good for what we need it to be which i like i like it i like it right okay let's just get some rest because it's getting dark all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something with all this Let's just get rid of you guys, you guys, and start removing you because I want to relocate you somewhere else, potentially. Potentially even in the base, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, then again, I don't want to use this anymore. you guys in here it's literally got 64 so we can't just bend this stuff we don't really need it oh don't be putting no more down please cool so what we'll do we'll deactivate you right okay that's jobs are good on for now and throw you in the bin cool okay so i'm wondering what i'm gonna build this out of are you directly above you yes you are so yeah my calculation were a bit off so let's just rename this flux plug into pylon pylon output and save you and chunk load you and then we'll save you as pylon input cool and you are still filling up yep 16 million so far which is great so everything in our base should potentially be powered by that now, right? If you look at our um, statistics or our settings or network. Right. So we have the mob grinder. We have the flux point and the mob duplicator, the flux point. Hmm. Kind of spelled that wrong. Pylon. So, before we could finish this episode off, right, what I wanted to do is 
grab the modules from here uh, these are just spaces right so we'll take you guys out and what is that called? rf power so we'll change you we'll change you not usage but just rf power and then we can make you large and hopefully it fits in cool and we shall change you to white cool okay that's doable right so put you guys back in here energy module plus and we'll make one two cool let's see if that doesn't work okay cool uh in input output okay cool input and output nice nice right okay that works i feel as if you just um feel as if it was just literally the um the distance so we made ourselves a plus module and that's fine and we need to do rf per tick how much input nothing can we not do not rf percentage i feel as if that's wrong So what we need to do instead of um, putting it on the flux points which doesn't make sense to do because that's just going to be shooting through a little bit we're going to be putting it on the we're putting on the pylons itself so this is the input pylon and this is the output pylon okay cool so now it should give us a little bit extra detail i feel okay so if we input you and then output you so that is that should be fine and then rf full color of the rf text which is red rf plus will be green i feel and then rf minus is going to be red i feel which is fine and then rf noise so i will put you here just so it's a bit lower and then we just get one more text module put you in the center uh... so if we name you storage Keep it to the left and we'll color you red and then you could be changed into rf per tick and then rf per tick plus is green minus is red and can we
change you into commas no I want this one to be turned into commas and this one to be changed into just full ah right, cool and can we not just like center all these yeah center 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 and center No bar. And then finally, if we change this one into to, to, to red as well, and we'll do RF usage per tick. That should hopefully be Yeah, but I need to change this to the left side. Now, can we not make any more text modules? Text modules should be able to make some. One, two. We'll make up two more just so we space it a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. So we'll do do you there, you there, you there. Storage, what if you put one more here, which is fine, and then put one here. Perfect, right, that's what we needed. Cool. I say guys, so literally that will change colors in terms of how much RF per tick we're using. So if we're using a lot more than what we're putting in. So for example, now it's still filling up, right? So once it's filled up, we're just going to see this in a minus number. But for the most part, the top one is how much storage we have in our RF power. And the bottom one is how much RF per tick we are using. Uh, can we not change this one? RF percentage? Nope. Uh, RF take right, that should be it right so guys i appreciate you guys tuning in as always if you like the video please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing it'll help me out massively and if you've got any suggestions or anything that you want to add on to the video or if you want to see anything in the next one please whack it down in the comment section below but with that being said take it sleazy and i'll see you on the next one